So we set that to bottom clock like we talked about before. It's only uh, four minutes of work. So, uh, and it's 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna do just stand up, bring that one foot out, and we're gonna do some ankle circles. This is cool. You don't have to count anything with the clock, you just do it. Now this might be hard for some of us. Um, you may need to hold on to something every once in a while, but the goal is to maintain uh, this single leg stance while we're doing some ankle circles. And you saw how I did some heel toe raises. Then we switched during, well, I get to rest. No, I was getting a little aggressive here. But um, what we're doing with this is, the reason I'm talking about this is in addition, not only what are we doing? We're building increased balance. We're, we're increasing our balance. But as you do that, this with me, you'll notice that your standing foot is really firing. It's really hard to do this without engaging the arch of the foot, uh, lifting that arch up. That big toe is really engaged here. Then what you'll start to feel as this continues is those leg muscles. So the glute muscles that stabilize the hips are really firing. So not only are you uh, getting strength and balance in the ankles and the feet, but also in the hips. And then we are working those core stabilizing muscles. When we think core, I know most of us think crunches and plank holds and all this really hard stuff um, that's uncomfortable, it's painful, it creates some super duper sore abs. Uh, if you've ever tried working on your core, for example, and you did one of those YouTube 10 minute, four minute ab workouts, and then also the next day you, you try to laugh and, uh, and it hurts. Um, the core isn't just the six pack, the core is all the way around. So this, as much or as hard as it might be to believe, ooh, I'm falling. Uh, this is core strengthening exercises here. This is building core strength. This is real core strength, hip strength, ankle strength, foot strength. I haven't even talked about what we're doing with the ankle circles. I just added these um, as an as a, as a extra bonus uh, dynamic movement of that ankle, of the, of the lifted leg. But what we're doing here is we're building the strength in the ankle in different ranges of motion. So typically we walk on flat level surfaces on concrete in sturdy uh, shoes that are casting our feet. And so of course if you can do this barefoot, it's even better. But when we're getting, uh, when we're moving those ankle around, uh, we're going all terrain, we're getting used to the uneven surfaces. We're building strength in the tibialis anterior, tibialis posterior, the peroneus longus and brevis and, and the flexor hallucis and the flexor hallucis longus and extensor digitorum, all these different muscles that we just have no idea that are even exist in there that keep us upright. And we're building strength and dexterity. Dexterity is a big part of balance and in the feet and the ankles. And, See how easy this is? We're almost done. Almost done. We've gotten some really good balancing exercises in here, ankle strengthening. Now, this would be a fantastic warm up. This is uh, four minutes uh, of work, and now we're really ready for a walk. Our hips are activated, um, our legs are fired up, our feet and ankles might be a little bit tired, but that's okay. Hopefully, this helps.